Okay, in this video I'm going to make a flashing LED using one transistor, uh, one capacitor and essentially one resistor. So here is the circuit diagram I'm going to be using. Points to note are, I'm using 12 volts. Now when I say I'm using 12 volts, I mean this circuit or this, this effect will only work with at least 12 volts. So you must have a minimum of 12. Uh, I'm using a 10,000 ohm pot potentiometer. I'm using a 1000 ohm resistor in series with that and that's because just in case my, my potentiometer goes to zero volts at least I will still have a thousand ohms worth of resistance. I have a NPN transistor here and I'm using a 2N2222 which is also known as a BC547. Point to note on this is this circuit will only work with an NPN. Furthermore if you look closely the base is not connected. I'm using well, I've set a 5mm LED, but I'm actually using a 3mm LED and a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Now, you can vary your capacitance. Uh, you'll see, once you get the circuit up and running, you can vary your capacitance to get what you like. Uh, here's my high line 12 volts, and here is my ground at zero. Now, if there's anything that I'm doing which is uh, which you haven't seen before, look at my previous videos, because I've gone into good depth about, um, we'll say, even just, just, you know, in describing these diagrams and so on. So if, you, if you're stuck in anything, go and look at them. Or just put a pop, uh, comment on my uh, on my video. So what I do is I'm going to go and build it. So the first thing you see here is that I have these series of wires up, up here, or my high line series of wires down here, my low line. I'm using two, uh, two batteries in series to make my 12 volts. Now they are 9 volt batteries here and here, however they're depleted so together they actually give me 12 volts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my potentiometer going from my high line and then into uh, 1000 ohms worth of resistance. So in actual fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my 1000 ohms first. Uh, now I'm actually going to use some smaller re resistors in series, so that's what I'm using three resistors, so that's a thousand ohms there. I'll give you a close up in a moment. Next I'm using a potentiometer, so I'll plug that in. I still haven't gotten around to actually fixing the connections on these, but anyway, it'll do. So, so far, what I've done is I've connected my high to my potentiometer to two 1000 ohms. Next I'm going to put in my NPN uh, where the emitter, notice the arrow on the emitter is in series or is in, in, in next after the 1000 ohm resistor. So here's my transistor here. Okay, so the curved end the curved edge, if, if you have the, the flat, there's a flat and a curved edge, if you have the flat edge facing you, you have your collector on the left, the base in the center, and your emitter on the right. So we're not going to connect the base, but we're going to put our emitter directly after a thousand ohm resistor. So, one sec now, what we have is, high line into the potentiometer, potentiometer into the resistors and then the resistors into the emitter the emitter on my uh, the emitter on the transistor okay that's still in focus, I'm listening in a small bit there no I can't do that, not when it's running, okay so next I'm going to add on my LED on the right hand side there and bring that down to ground so I'm using a 3mm LED longer leg being on the high side. So that goes uh, that goes in series with my collector and from there down to ground. From there down to ground. Okay. So what I've done so far is I've wired in all of this. Okay, next I'm going to wire in my capacitor from the junction between my resistor and my emitter down to ground. Now notice the polarity of my 
of my capacitor, whereby I'll say the positive side of my capacitor is actually facing ground. So if this is a this is one of my capacitors, probably better if you look down here. One of my legs, the one that you see on the right hand side is longer than the other leg. So usually usually the longer leg here goes on the positive side. However, in this case I'm putting it the other way around. Now I've actually I'm actually putting two uh capacitors in series, so I'm actually reducing my capacitance, but that, that is that it doesn't really matter. So Here down, I've put in my capacitor here, down to ground. So it's time then just to connect up my power. Now, and my potentiometer is gone again. Now, if you look closely. See my light is on, and the reason that's on and nothing's happening is because I wired my capacitors incorrectly. Okay. So you can see that the LED is flashing. Uh, the flash rate is based I s essentially I suppose on the time constant of the RC time constant tau I won't go into that but I will say my potentiometer here on the left if I adjust the resistance on my potentiometer I'm able to adjust the flashing speed so I'm just going to shut that off completely so at a very high resistance you can see my, my LED is flashing very lightly and I start increasing the re or decreasing the resistance I start increasing the flash rate if you'd like to know how this works, you should look up the Isaki effect. Essentially, it boils down to just your emitter and collector being a, a pin junction or a diode. And that is how you make a flashing LED.